Okay, it was four years ago when Constance Wu became a breakout star as the leading uh. lady in this classic rom-com. It's the best. It's called, of course, Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah, now Constance is adding a little drama to her life, playing a journalist in the action-packed new series, The Terminal List, alongside her co-star Chris Pratt, who plays a Navy SEAL. Take a look. I brought up your troops' deployment pattern because of overwork and exhaustion played a part in your men's debt. I don't think that's your fault, but there are people who need to be held responsible right, for, for you it. Listen, I know you think I'm the enemy, but all I care about is the truth. And if a broken system put you and your men in a situation... Thank you for your time, Ms. Burnick. I appreciate you stopping by. Oh, oh my gosh. That's it. We're already hooked. Yeah, we're that, in. 20 <laughs> seconds. We're it's all we're it in. took. We want to talk about the terminal in a second, but we do want to talk about that recent speech that you gave at Cornell. Yes, we we thought this it. was really cool. Oh, because you talked about how... Owning the I don't know. So many people try to fake it. They always say, fake it till you make it, you know. But ha being bold and brave enough to say those words, I don't yeah, know. especially when you're young and you're yeah. first entering the workforce, you can feel very insecure. And especially with social media, seeing people post about their perfect lives. Yeah. Sometimes there's pressure to to know everything and to seem like you're totally in control. And I think it can be very empowering and almost kind of freeing and funny to just be like, you know what? I actually don't know that. Yeah. Can you help me? You, you know what's funny? I have two kids, uh, five and three. Yeah. And when they don't know something, I read this book, and the title of the book is, well, I guess I haven't learned that yet. Oh, so I that's said, right. Instead of, saying, instead of saying, faking it, just say, well, yeah. I guess, what, what about that? Yeah. I guess I haven't learned that yet. Yeah, like, and, and it opens up an opens opportunity up. for you to learn, and then you're generally living in less fear because it's okay to not know. Social media is something that I think a lot of parents uh, struggle with. Yeah. Like you want to obviously show that, you know, you're enjoying your life and, and show your kids to your family and whoever else follows you. But there are limits. So how have you kind of navigated that? Yeah, it's interesting because, I, I mean, I'm a 90s kid, right? Yeah. So I didn't grow up with social media. Yes. Um, and it's something that I uh, sort of am still figuring out. And like you just said, you want to show how great your life is. I think it's interesting that we only show that. Yeah. Because great. I think that could make, that could be really isolating. Mm -hmm. And so I'm actually not on social media. Yeah, so you got, at all. you had a big presence and you got, and you got off. Yeah. How do you feel yeah. off? I mean, I really did that for the sake of my mental health. Yeah. yeah. And, um, it's honestly, it's a lot more peaceful. There's yeah. a lot less pressure. And it feels more intuitive to me because I grew up in the 90s. Yes. This is not to judge any like Gen Z kids yeah, for course. whom this is their right. primary. Right. Your thing. Right. Yeah. Connection. This is how they learn. But I grew up on phone calls, you know, yeah. and voicemails. Yeah. Like, we talk mm -hmm. about Crazy Rich Asians. Yes. We were talking about, I was saying that's one movie I wish I could see again for the first time because yeah. there's Aww. something about it. Yeah. That just like filled me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I can you. maybe see the second one for the first time. <laughs> yeah, is there you be can a... see yes. the when second one for the first happening? time when it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that, you think it's a long time from now? Um, I don't think it's a long time from now. I mean, we haven't started. Shot. You haven't filming. shot. Oh, you haven't started filming. <laughs> no. So it is a long time from now. You know, you never know, because Hustlers, we shot that in the spring. Yeah. And it so came out that Lopez. same, with Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, we, it came out that either. same fall. Okay, so it we could do. Okay, okay yeah. can we talk about Terminal? Because we haven't talked about yes, that yet. Sure. The whole Listen, point that so you're good. here. Yeah. yeah. Um, you play this, this journalist yeah. alongside Chris Pratt. Mm -hmm. So how was that dynamic? Oh, it was great. I mean, yeah. one thing um, people maybe don't know is Chris and I had babies around the same yeah. time. His uh -huh. wife, uh -huh. Catherine, had uh -huh. Lila around the same time I had my daughter. Um, and so, you know, when we weren't acting, we were just, like, trading baby stories. Yeah. And he was so caring about, like, my needs as a mother, whether I had to That's go so and pump great. or, like, get on a call with the pediatrician, oh, whatever it was. Yeah. Um, and so that was great. And the, the show itself was really fun because I always like to do something different from my previous yeah. show, which had been Hustlers, yes. where I played a stripper. <laughs> and then I go from stripper to war journalist. I'm like, that's it. That there, there's a the spectrum. That was a turn. Yeah. And, it, yeah. and, and is it true that your next role is yeah. musical? Yes, my next role is a movie musical with Javier Bardem. What? And a singing crocodile. So that's you it. Say it? it is for, it's, it's Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Oh, yes, you know those yes. children's oh, I love those. Wait, yeah. so you sing too? Yeah, yeah. I kind of grew up doing musical theater, so. I can tell you. You know that. that's weird? Why? Just by your voice, voice, I can tell you're a singer. It wasn't my yeah. jazz hands that tipped you <laughs> off. Like, like. What do you sing to your little, little one at night? Oh, I mean, honestly, she just likes 
Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Although when she was really little, for some reason, this is so weird. I'm talking when she was like six weeks old. Yeah. The Star Spangled Banner would calm her down. Really? Would it? I have no, I think it was like the marching of, of yeah. it, because I would march yes. Yes. and sing it, and then she would just calm down. Oh. It doesn't work anymore, but it works <laughs> I was going to say, there's mothers across the country yeah. that are like, <laughs> I'm like, God, I'm such an American baby. Like, wow. Wow. Um, thank, oh my you, gosh, thank you, Constance. Thank you, Constance. Thanks for visiting with us. We love watching it. your star rise. Yeah, we oh, sure thank do. you so much. And the Terminal List premieres July 1st on Prime Video.